Hi everyone and uh, welcome to a new video. Yes, it's uh, New Wheels Day today. It's quite unusual for me because I already had both bikes kitted up with uh, prime carbon wheels, but I decided to splash some cash. Yes, you know guys how cheap I am. You know guys how considerate I am in terms of the ever rising pricing in the cycling industry, but this time Cycle to Work came through and uh, I was really happy to spend some money, yes, on the Velobuild this time because I'm refining both bikes, the Velobuild and the Canyon, to their own uh, specific use. So the Velobuild, in uh, line with the aerodynamic bikes, now it's got the 5339 uh, chain set and will have slightly deeper 55mm carbon wheels with aero spokes like this Vision SC55. And one other reason is, of course, to maintain the prehistoric technology I'm using, rim brakes, and um, having two sets of prime wheels dedicated to the canyon leaves me with a little bit more hope for the future that I can still use my old uh, Jurassic uh, braking system. And uh, yes, using a recognized brand, Vision in this case, will help me have a little bit more aerodynamic effect, as I mentioned, and a bit more credit when I stop at the cafe, maybe. Likely, my cycle to work scheme works with Threads and Halfords. In this case, Threads had a set of Vision 55 rim brakes in stock. In this instance, I spent a little bit more than I usually do on the bike, and actually these wheels cost more than the whole bike itself. But I took the plunge, I got this beautiful set of wheels. There's not much in the box itself. There's a, of course, the wheels with rim tape, a couple of skewers, very substantial skewers, not much of a literature, no brake pads, no spokes. So the packaging is uh, very minimal. These wheels might be expensive for my own uh, word, but in the grand scheme, uh, towards the more affordable line of wheels, the SC service course for Vision are the accessible product. The Metron is the high-end product. If you go NVZ, you will spend a lot more. One small niggle, the hole for the rim tape wasn't aligned and I was already panicking. I thought, should I go in with the valve in a Rocco Sifredi style and um, open it up? That wasn't the case. Luckily, I sent a text to my good friend Davide, he's very experienced, said, look, the wheel is new, you will be able to actually move the tape, slide the tape a little bit. I did and everything went well. So thanks Davide and as usual, save the day. Wheels are really beautiful. True, of course, I use, as you would expect, when uh, straight out of the box with straight pull aerodynamic spokes, very smooth hub and a decent weight. So let's have a look the front wheel, 710 grams for the front wheel and 870 grams for the rear wheel. Very decent weight considering the 55 millimeter section Quite nice hub sound as well. And a beautiful finish for the brake track. The surface seems very, very nice. So it's going to be nice to see how the braking will be on these wheels. The graphics as well are very nice, subtle, elegant design without being uh, too much in your face. Vision itself is a company that uh, in the name says Vision Tech USA, but is part of FSA, full speed ahead. If you look at the website, scroll down, you see the VAT number, an Italian VAT number, and you see a map in Milan where the company is based. And we are, of course, as Italian, known for precision engineering and uh, reliability of our products. Now, maybe you, you need to go a little bit Further up north, we are famous for, yes, uh, food, uh, fashion and art. So I hope that, yes, the good looks in this case, I hope it will be also linked with a quite good performance in the technical area. But the looks is all it counts.
Another reason why I chose these ones, yes, the aerodynamic factor to have a slightly deeper rim, 55, not going overboard because I still want to use my 65 millimeters Presta valves from the right now tubes. I don't want to go um, higher. And also the channel of these wheels is the same as the prime, so 19 millimeters internal width, but they have a 25 millimeter outside width, while the prime are 27 and a half, so slightly wider at the base. Knowing the problems I had in the clearance, especially the rear with the velo build, it will be a better fit for the bike. I'm going to move the tires on these wheels, clean the bike because I've been using the velo build in the rain as well. I haven't stopped raining here the whole month of March. It's been extremely frustrating. And I'm going to show you how the bike looks like all finished up. Here I am. I can't believe I managed to do everything. So the cassette came out nicely from the Prime and I put it on the Vision. Yes, I managed to put all the rings and the spacer in the right place. And also I had the pleasure to swap the GP5000, the 23C GP5000 from uh, one set to the other. And it's always a good fun uh, to do so. Yes, my thumb hurt, all the muscle in my body ache. It's um, yeah, almost like a gym session. But everything is on. The bike looks fantastic. The wheels look amazing on the bike. Just five mils makes a little bit of a difference. The velo build now is fully embracing the aerodynamic brief. I can't wait to ride on the road. The free hub is unbelievably loud. Wow. <laughs> I haven't had to change the brake setup. They were in the same position for the brake track of the Prime and the Vision, so everything is fine in that regard. I will report back if this uh, little bit investment and uh, move to a more household name with Vision, if it was worth it, jeopardizing my marriage as well. I will see and find out how the wheels fare in the fast segments and on the flat especially. Thank you guys for watching guys let me know in the comments all your feedback as usual i love to hear and uh, thank you again for your subscription i recently passed the 6000 subscribers and i'm really really happy for your support i'll see you to the next video ciao thank you for staying a little bit more i got back from a ride and uh, yeah the wheels feels really really good first of all the braking the same pads i've been using with the prime feels softer in a way on the vision the brake is actually smoother completely silent and uh, yes quite an improvement uh, compared to the previous one i have and uh, yeah they feel quite fast so i went for just a quick ride very windy today and i clocked my second best time in uh, richmond park first of the day so i'm quite happy and uh, the fastest time well same fastest time on the broomfield descent first time of the year and again quite a good performance using the vision maybe i'm going to try them on a canyon as well thank you again for watching see you in the next video ciao